it's an ownership of your of your art. It includes like the the process of recording, the process of uh, production, merchandise, process of devising your own tour. It can all be done by yourself. Nobody needs to tell you how to do it. Pretty pretty nice to uh, open up to your own infinite possibilities. Uh, I think there's something too about like uh, not just not just like the professional aspect of independence and and like booking, uh, which definitely is valuable. But there's also like the artistic integrity of being independent of you know outside influences and you know following like your inner muse or artistic guidance or whatever. Gotta have some balls. Yeah, gotta work some balls shit out. For sure. <laughs> I started playing the clarinet first and foremost. I picked it up when I was playing when I was ten years old. Started playing in band, and it was pretty nerve-wracking actually. <laughs> the first two years, it was just cow sounds like cows dying. <laughs> That's quite yeah. That's and then as honky as you could imagine a clarinet to be. Yes, <laughs> Chris have many uh, bizarre doppelganger things. One of which is the fact that apparently both of our first instruments is cello. And um, the same birthday. And the same birthday. And also we're both awesome people. Um, <laughs> I get a lot of uh, I get a lot of inspiration from human interaction. That intangible relationship occurring. I try to perpetuate a lot of uh, harmony that has occurred. Jazz, harmony, uh, romantic, impressionistic harmony. When we write the, the melodic horn lines and when I write a lot of the poetry for some of the songs, it's all taken from, you know, just people and the community. I may add one thing, the big push of Recent music is uh, overwhelming and undul undulating sensuality of uh, eroticism that occurs between humans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, whether gonna... it is said or not said, or must be said. I think success is super difficult because. Um, there is this artistic integrity, like you want to uphold, you want to present this, you know, the, the craft of my instrument. I want to represent well and perform well. I want to be able to express my inner soul and my inner face pumping sexiness. Then, I mean, I hate to say it, but there is like, I gotta pay my bills. And so if I can, like, I'm, I ain't there yet. But if I, yeah. I, sometimes those, those things, conflict with each other. And then I find a lot of success in uh, creating something just a slightly bit more original or uh, difficult or uh, what's the word? Uh, uncommon. Uncommon than most people's cultural perception of music they're hearing. And if you can present something that's new to them and they can, and it opens up some new door in them, opens up them to feel something with you as well. That, for me, this is the only thing I want. You know. Oh. I know that, I know I'm not doing something right when I'm not happy and nobody else is happy.